Traders, what is going on? Excited you guys are here today. I've gotten quite a few emails over the last year or two asking, Kevin, how do you use Trader Elite Pro powered by DOS on your MacBook Pro? Well, I'm going to break it down for you guys in this video. Uh, should be easy for you guys. It's been a while since I did this. So I'm going to run back through it all, show you guys some tips and tricks. All right, guys, let's get straight into it. Traders Elite Pro powered by DOS, the best thing out there, guys. That before we get into this video, guys, take two seconds out of your day and hit that like button for me. I really appreciate it. It helps YouTube out tremendously. So here's DOS. This is on CMEG's uh, website. This is for active account users only. What you're going to do is you're going to open your account. It's $90 a month. Open up your account, and upon doing that, CMEG's going to hit you up with Traders Elite Pro, a file that you need to open. Now, a lot of you guys are unable to open it with uh, the MacBook Pro, so we're going to break that down for you here today. I'll show you exactly how I uh, open it with my MacBook. What you're going to want to do is download a software called Crossover by Code Weavers. So just type into Google Crossover for Mac. And what's going to pop up is this co uh, Code Weavers right here. You're going to click that. Uh, you're going to come down here to For Mac and Buy Now. And they usually run promos as well. I got this like over a year ago, just the one version, no supports uh, for 40 bucks. Uh, you can probably get that for half off here and there. They run some deals. But what you're going to want to do is download that. Now let's get into Crossover. When I open up Crossover, this is what comes up because I've already downloaded uh, Traders Elite Pro. What you're going to want to do is create what's called a bottle. So you come down here to install a Windows application and then you're going to get another box that pops up. So let's just type in the name of the Windows application. They already have DOS Trader Pro up here. We can type in Traders Elite Pro, just an unlisted application. Uh, use this profile to install applications. You will need to the installer file. So that installer file is what we're going to use uh, to install Traders Elite Pro. We're going to continue and choose the installer file. And that's when you're going to click on the file that we already have downloaded. So I'm going to cancel that. You're going to want to click on the Traders Elite Pro and install that file. Now, what bottle are you going to want to use? So for me, and what's worked for me, and I did try a lot of these, I do remember, uh, is I used... These are the settings I used for it. The bottle type I used was Windows XP. So when you guys are setting it up, it's going to ask you which bottle type you want to use. It's got a whole different list of Windows, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 9, all that stuff. I use Windows XP, and this worked flawless for me. These are some of the settings, uh, installed application settings that I have here as well. And it's all worked great for me. And so all I do at this point after setting up that bottle for Windows XP under Traders Elite Pro ETFA, I'll just click that to open it up. And then I'm able to log in to my CME group uh, username and password. I click all that, press OK, and then bada bing, bada boom. It's all going to pop up just like that. Now here's something really important to remember. That I do remember this when I got all this set up. What you need to do to save your layout to exactly how you want. After you adjust your settings in DOS, what you're going to want to do is go to Save Desktop and make sure you change this name for, for, for the file name to default.dsk. It's just weird. I remember when I used to save my platform, every time I'd open it back up, nothing would be here because it wouldn't be under the name default. It would save it as something else and just put it you know, in a folder somewhere. So just make sure you save your layout as default.dsk. That way, every single time you open the platform, it's going to come up uh, exactly how you last uh, had the platform. But traders, for me, it's as simple as that. I got a lot of requests to do this video. Uh, it wasn't very difficult for me to set up, so I, I hope this is going to answer all your questions. I just wanted to run through it really quick. Get that crossover app, and then create the bottle under Windows XP Bottle. Uh, and then you should be able to open it all up, and it's worked flawless for me, guys. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, some of you guys, it may you may run into a few other speed bumps that I haven't run into. So just let us know in the comment section below, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you all next time.